Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I make these floating frames. I don't know what they're really called. I think it's a floating frame for dry pressed flowers, so let's get to it. First, you gotta get some materials and then dry press them or just dry them out in the sun. These are all my materials from like this right here. So I have these flowers that I got for my birthday and then I just dry them within books and then leave them out in the sun and they should look like this. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your picture frame and then you're gonna remove the back. So I got these picture frames from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna make three boxes, I already made one. I'm just gonna make two more. So I had to buy a total of six because I need two glass per one frame. I'm gonna make sure that your glass is clean because you don't want any smudges. So I'm just gonna clean the inside of it because we can clean the outside later. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lay out my flowers. You can lay them out however you want. So now you can see this is what I have. It's just kind of laid out like this and I'm doing it from like, I'm imagining it. This is what it looks like from the back. And then you're gonna clean your second glass. And then, let's just spray this. This is gonna be the inside. And then they say that you should probably glue your flowers down. So, oh, I have tacky glue. You can't really get this from the 9th store. I don't know if you can. Um, I have this because I do arts and crafts. And then just gently put like a little bit of glue. Oh, they say you should use tweezers too. I watch a lot of tutorial videos and kind of like gathered all that I received from them and made this video. So it might not be like super professional, but it is what it is, you know? You're just gonna put your glass on top and then just kind of let it rest there. I just do this so that it can still be further pressed right next. Because the glass is gonna like slide a little bit because like these are cheap frames, right? I put these little styrofoam backings and these styrofoam backings are to help um, the glass from sliding so that there's like no movement, right? Because you don't want the glass to slip and fall. And I watched some tutorials, some don't even put a second backing and I don't like that because these are dried flowers and I want to make sure that they're preserved nicely um, when you hang them. So no shortcuts here. Okay, so we're going to take these styrofoam backings that came with the frame and then we're just going to cut them into little slivers. And what's going to happen is that it's going to kind of create like more dimension and you want to make sure that they're small enough so that they can like hide in the corners so this one's a little too big and then you're just gonna glue them inside the frame but i just realized that even if this glass cleaner is on it it's not like completely flat and so i did impress I didn't press these flowers for too long. I just kind of let them dry. And I realized that I might not even need to use a styrofoam backing because it's so thick. Here. Let's try it with this. Uh, oh, I'm missing so many steps. So before you do anything, you want to get your twine. Because you want to make sure that your twine is in before you do anything. 
So make sure that it's not completely like tight. You wanna like kind of press your finger down so that the glass can go in. Otherwise the glass can't go in. Just keep it nice and loose around the corner, but you wanna make sure you're not as tight. Just going to whoops not try to move the flower so much. Okay, then I'm sure there was like a safer way to put it. Okay, let's revisit this. So instead, you should put the first glass down <clears throat> so that you don't want to do this mess like me. So put the first glass down into the frame and then put the flowers in because this is <clears throat> a little bit not open up too well. But that is the beauty of art, right? You can never get it quite right the first time. All right, as you can see, it's a little bit floppy. I wonder if I can get away with securing it in. So there's no like right or wrong way I feel like to do arts and crafts. Like if it works, it works, honey. Oops, I forgot to glue one of the flowers down. So as you can see, it's a little bit wobbly, but this is the final product. Yay, super easy. I'm just gonna remove it and then re-glue this one down. and then just secure the black tabs back again I know the black tabs will show because this is clear but what can you do you know I don't really have much of a choice here if you want a clear background unless you do like an epoxy epoxy I don't know how to say that word I've seen like a lot of like wood people use that that's pretty cool Okay, and then this is what it looks like and just shake it around. If the glass doesn't shake, then that's a good sign. I'm just going to glue the glass a little bit on the sides just so that it doesn't accidentally like fall apart because we don't want that to happen. But there's like a little bit of a gap here. I think that's fine just because honestly my flowers are not completely dry anyway. Um, and maybe that's bad, but... I think I'm gonna put this frame out in the sun for them to dry a little bit more and then like, you know, it can escape the, the moisture so that it can completely dry. Alright, so I just put a little bit of glue around the edges. And then there's still some glue that needs to dry here, but I think after it dries it should be okay. See, art is not perfect. I know a lot of these like... DIY YouTube channels make it seem like everything is perfect, but honestly, like, my art never is. So there you have it. Okay. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. Two down. We have this one that I glued. Okay. So this one, you know, 99 cent store stuff. Has a little bit of like residue. I'll figure that out later.
Okay, so I used some nail polish remover to remove the residue. And now that we're all done with that, I'm just going to wipe down this glass again. Whoops. My table is really small. I don't have like a workshop, so my life is a mess. And we're just going to stick this glass in. And this is the one that I have the backings in. The styrofoam backings. Because it needs it. Okay, why is it not going in? Okie dokie, what's going on? Oh, duh. It's stupid. Okay. Sometimes I am an idiot, and that is okay. Okay. And then we're just gonna flip this. Ah! Please do not fall off again. Uh, okay. It's staying. Okay. Well, I mean, there probably is a better way to do this. I have no idea what it is, so. Like I always say, it is what it is. I'm just gonna press this down a little bit. So, a recommendation is to maybe press your flowers a little bit longer than I did because they're protruding out a little bit too much. Okay. So here I needed the styrofoam backings because um, the flowers were thinner. So yeah, so you can see that the glass isn't like completely like touching the top, which is good because I still have the styrofoam backings that are kind of like lifting it up versus the other one because this flower was so thick like my glass over here, oops. My glass over here is like like protruding out like on the side. So I'm just gonna press this down, this one down a little bit more with the glass cleaner, but you don't wanna do it too much on the edges because I don't want the glass to crack either. So yeah, so there we have it. This one's a more delicate piece. I'm not entirely sure if I like how it's arranged just because it like kind of fell apart when I flipped it, but let's see if I can try to fix it. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to mess with it because the glue residue is on there. So it is what it is. Um, probably the lesson learned is that the best way to kind of approach this is to just lay everything down first. So put the frame down, put the styrofoam backings if you feel like you need it. Then put the flowers down, put the glue, and then put the second one, and then just like, yeah, and then seal it. That was probably the best workflow, but there you have it. I'm gonna put the twine in because I totally forgot to put the twine in. is you learn how to just give up on perfection you know like art is not meant to be perfect and clearly with arts and crafts not everything's gonna be perfect and then so after the glue dries and everything then I'm gonna spray it with the window cleaner a window cleaner glass cleaner Wow oh and then if it's like too long like up here what I do is I just like loop it have it the second one or the third one sorry wow i'm a mess okay um arts and crafts is definitely not like easy especially if you're doing it like diy like me but this is what all three look like and then before you give them make sure that like they're kind of wiped down with window cleaner yay so I hope that you enjoyed this crazy tutorial because life is just so unexpected and you never know what is going to happen with your art and you just gotta let it be, you know? Happy little mistakes. So uh, I hope that this was enjoyable and informational and I hope that, you know, if you make them, that you also make mistakes and you learn from them. So thank you for watching and happy DIYing!